26 countries made it to final, including Australia. Strong players like last year's winners Ukraine, Sweden, Finland, Israel, and the so-called Big Five France, Germany, Italy, Spain, United Kingdom. The Big Five take their final starting positions as top five contributors to the European Broadcasting Union events organisers. Australia has an impressive track record at Eurovision and has been in the top 10 in four of our previous seven entries. Since 2015, when we participated in Eurovision as a contestant, we have only been able to reach the final once. Swede Laureen performs in the Eurovision final. Sarah Louise Bennett EBU Our results become valuable when you think we don't belong in one of the contest's voting blocks. Compared last year's contest, in which organizers deported Russia after invading Ukraine, this year's contest was largely apolitical until Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky asked to speak the 160 million viewer TV audience during the final, but was refused. Having spoken at high-profile media events such as Cannes and Venice Film Festivals, Grammys and Golden Globes, Zelensky sought to speak at last two Oscars, but was turned down. The EBU's decision was criticized by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who said Ukraine's struggle was political, but fundamental. The Princess Wales appeared in opening sequence of the television broadcast during performance last year's winner Kalush Orchestra's song Stephania. The Princess instrumental piano contribution was filmed in Windsor Castle's Crimson Drawing Room. The broadcast also featured a musical songbook medley tied to the host city Liverpool, including a moving rendition of one of the city's biggest sports and cultural anthems, You'll Never Walk Alone. A tear in my stupid old eye, you don't see that every day, said host Graham Norton. Israeli Noah Kirill in the Eurovision final. Sarah Louise Bennett EBU Although Eurovision 2023 doesn't coincide with its anniversary, one year to 50th anniversary of Abbas 1974 winning performance in Brighton, England, the Waterloo performance brought Swedish quartet to international fame. When ABBA took that stage, we couldn't have imagined would have an ABBA museum 50 years from now, Abbas Bjorn Olvius said during this year's telecast. Our international success started with Eurovision. Voyager performing at the Eurovision final. Credits Corinne Cumming, EBU Australia's Eurovision jury consists of in excess Andrew Farris, singer-actor Tony Piren, singer-songwriter actor Eddie Perfect, songwriter-host Brihina Dawson, and radio host DJ Latter for Tea. Our jury spokesperson was Oscar-winning production and costume designer Catherine Martin. Martin described Voyager as classic Eurovision. They are so outgoing that they are enthusiastic and unrestrained, and everyone is after it. There is no self-consciousness. I think it's great and incredibly fun. The four-time Oscar winner said that the charm of Eurovision lies in its ostentation and multicultural.